Hey, hey, hey. Hey, kings and queens. What's happening, y'all? How y'all doing? I don't even really wave like this, but I don't really like this thing. Hey. <laughs> so we've been working on the focusing before. What are we working on today? Yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're still working on focusing, but we were focusing on our get out of debt strategy mm-hmm. plan yeah today like going hard we've been yeah. working on it for a month and a half because we started in february mm-hmm. so a month and a half but we're learning more and more as we go and yeah. so today we just uh, well we uncovered a bunch of stuff about student loans that i had no idea about that i really wanted to tell you all about and i won't go into great 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 detail because i don't want to get it wrong because i just learned it a couple mm-hmm. hours ago but yeah. i was just so excited and i shared it with him and he suggested that we share it with y'all because knowledge is power that's right man so what did i learn today so i have five student loans in one company at fed loan servicing and i don't have five how many do you have I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember off the top of my head either. Like 13 or something. <laughs> yeah, but that was consolidated. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we thought there were more. Mm-hmm. So, but anyway, that's a, that's probably another video. But today I found out that, okay, so we have a principal yeah. and a balance, balance. and an interest. interest. Yes, an interest. Mm-hmm. So interest is that thing that keeps you in chains. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> What, what the loan officer actually told me today, he called it the bear in the closet. But Mm-mm. that's what he said. And so basically, you can have, let's say your loan was for $1,000, but the interest is, I don't know, a lot of percent, 20% or something. Right. That's terrible. So then you'd end up paying back, not $1,000, but $1,000 plus 20% of whatever $1,000 is. What was that, 200 20% of, I don't know. 1, 000, so you end up paying more than a thousand dollars to get that off of your, to get the monkey off your back. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two hundred dollars. So, I called my loan company today and I just asked them, hey, if I just pay the remaining, the interest on one of these loans, I'm just gonna start with the smallest one first, so we can we can start there and grow up. Mm-hmm. But if I pay the interest. And that would be um, the debt snowball, like uh, Dave Ramsey's smallest. Of yeah, largest. so we're we're following Dave Ramsey's thing, and that's something we need to tell y'all about. Dave Ramsey's total money makeover, all that. But if I pay the interest on this one particular loan first, any other payments that I give you all for this particular loan, will that go finally to the principal balance? Mm-hmm. And I found out today that it would not. Y'all, principal balance is like the actual loan, like the amount of money that you actually took out for your debt, like when you started college. That's principal. I don't know if we didn't define that. No. So she's saying is is that the what are you saying? The money would not even go towards the actual loan. It wouldn't go towards the actual principal balance still. Because interest accrues every single day, even if I paid off the entire amount of interest that I have remaining. I'll just tell you, I have the one loan that I was looking at. There's $540 left of interest left to pay before I can start paying down the actual loan amount, which is $9,100. Okay, on one loan. And so I said, if I pay you all $540 today, right now, and then give you a payment next month for a hundred dollars will the one hundred dollars go towards the ninety one hundred dollar balance you know after the interest is you know covered and i was told yes and no basically no because interest accrues on the loan every single day even if you pay off the interest today i have a 6.8 percent interest on this loan which means one dollar and 70 cent is added to the loan every every single day. day So if I pay them $540 today and decide to pay them $100 next month, a whole 30 days worth of interest has accrued. So $1.70 times 30 is whatever that is. So I'd give them $100, let's say, but $30 or $40 of that would go to interest before it would go to the principal balance anyway. Mm. So 
as long as there's a loan, there's interest. You don't just pay off interest and then start paying on principal. You need to just pay off the whole loan. So what we're going to do... What we're going to do? This is what we're going to do. This is this is the master plan. So we're going to... We're going to pay off the interest, which is $540 and some change. And then, I'm going to open an account. Or funnel one of my... Separate. A separate. This completely checking account. Separate checking account. Mm-hmm. And that $1.70 that comes out every day, you know, that is accrued onto the interest every day. I'm going to have an account where $2 is paid Mm. to the Fed Loan Servicing on this one particular loan every day. Like, it's going to come out every day. Or weekly or something? No. No. Mm. Because if I wait till weekly, that's $1.70 that's accruing every single week. Yeah. Well, every single day. So that's $1.70 times seven days mm-hmm. I mean I guess I could do it once a week but it, it'd have to be an amount of whatever a dollar seventy is times seven mm-hmm. you know so that the loan doesn't keep going up because of that interest Whew. so I'm gonna have either two dollars a day come out so that way 30 cent is being paid on the actual loan mm-hmm. every day <laughs> mm-hmm. and the interest is not going up because I'm covering it mm-hmm. yeah that's what I'm probably gonna do I guess the one once a week sounds more reasonable. It does. It just sounds like it. It doesn't sound more reasonable. It sounds less petty. But I mean, whatever. They wouldn't. They they wouldn't. They being petty right now. A dollar seventy. That's petty. Be graceful. Oh, stop. Okay. But, um, um. Well, you can wander into debt. That's what Dave Ramsey says. You can wander into debt, but you can't wander out. You gotta fight. You gotta be a war. You gotta be a gazelle. You gotta be a warrior. You so you got to protect. You gotta. You gotta like. Yeah, before it comes. There. That lion is hungry in the morning. You don't get to run in the first thing in the morning. Dead, they're gonna get you. But it doesn't have to be that way. Mm-hmm. We found a way. And we're gonna use it on all the rest of our loans and all that good stuff. And yeah. We were talking about it on the phone earlier today. Yeah. I'm on my lunch break right now. But we stopped lunch break to shoot a video for y'all. But if any of you have any other suggestions of how you came out of debt Comment or section how below. you're cutting out, let us know because we're not gurus. Put it in the comment section below, y'all, and subscribe to the channel, man, as this journey continues. But God is good. We're really excited. God ah! is good all the time. Yes! So many, so many lessons and inspiration. Yeah. And words of wisdom and yeah. techniques. Yes. strategies just continue to unravel make sure y'all focus and don't try to do dave ramsey's steps out of order yeah that might be another video we tried me. that yeah we did we tried step number three we tried Maybe to do people number don't know three. what the steps are we tried to do step number three with step number uh with money from step number one so there's seven steps so we you tried know. to go out of order we tried to do step five before step one we're gonna get to that y'all we're gonna break all that down we right shouldn't now. do that Love y'all. Bye, kings and queens.